everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. Today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market, and I'm gonna be taking you on a little behind the scenes grocery haul tour to show you what kind of things I'm putting in my usual grocery basket. So let's do this. Okay, first and foremost, a quick disclaimer that this is just what I bought this week. This is in no way, shape or form recommendations for any of you for what you should be buying. Everyone's budget, dietary restrictions, um, their preferences, their family's preferences are all going to come into play when it comes to what they're going to be buying when they go to the grocery store. So this is just what I bought this week. It's not necessarily what I buy every week, though I do have some go-to staples that of course I'm gonna chat with you guys about. Also, quick trigger warning, I will be showing nutrition labels. So if you're struggling with disordered eating or you have in the past, then of course, skip this video if it's not supportive to your journey. So my usual subbies are probably like, where are you? Cause this is not my normal house and it's also not my normal filming studio kitchen either. So we are having some renovations done at my actual house. Um, and so as a result, our family's just, just decided to rent a little Airbnb so that we could stay safe, you know, COVID, we don't really wanna be hanging out, running around, living, breathing, sleeping in the same house where we've got a bunch of contractors working. So um, just to keep things really safe, we are staying at an Airbnb. So I've ordered all of my groceries here today. Speaking of ordering groceries, I know that a lot of people have gotten into the rhythm of ordering either pickup or delivery groceries during COVID, but me, I actually have been doing this for a really long time. I think as soon as I became a mom with E, I just no longer had the bandwidth to do big long grocery shops on the weekend anymore. The thing I love about ordering my groceries is that anytime I remember something that I need, like let's say I open the fridge and I'm like, oh yeah, we're running low on eggs. I just add it to my grocery order when I think about it because if I don't do it right then, it's gone. Whew. This makes allows me to make sure that I actually get all the things that I need and I'm not making multiple trips. Plus it's just so nice to just either get them delivered to your door and then you know you put them away or just have to run your car down to pick them up and you don't have to walk through the whole grocery store, you don't have to wait in line. It saves me so much time. So as a mom, I'm going to be doing grocery delivery probably for life. But do I miss going into a grocery store? Yeah, I mean, I would love to peruse the aisles of Whole Foods at some point someday soon when the world is, you know, a little much more of a safer place. But until then, I'm happy to just get my groceries delivered. The other thing worth mentioning is that when I do get all my groceries and I usually do it on a Monday and I do carve out some time in that work day to do some meal prep. So, you know, of course I put away like anything that just needs to go back in the fridge or freezer or pantry or whatever. Then I will take some time to chop up vegetables, steam veggies for the kids, roast some vegetables for our dinners throughout the week, maybe cook up a big batch of pasta or rice, something that I can easily put together into easy weekday meals that when five o'clock rolls around, I'm not scrambling. I typically do spend mm, maybe two or three hours just doing some of these basic meal prep chores. And I don't, I know everyone has their own meal prep ways where a lot of people do like full meals and then they like freeze them or they put them into their little containers ready to go, stack them up. Um, I love that. I don't do that. I'm just not that organized, but I prefer to do what I call like meal prep components. All the veggies, like roast a couple of vegetables, cook a couple grains, maybe cook a couple proteins. If I've got like chickpeas, rinse them, drain them, pop them in the fridge, easy to throw on salads, um, roast some chicken thighs or chicken breasts, uh, some tofu, etc. That way I've got these meal components that all I have to do at the end of the busy day is put them together in a bowl with some sauce and you got a meal. That is basically how I'm living right now in COVID with two kids. But anyways, let's talk about what we got here. First, let me tell you about my sponsor, Thrive Market. So Thrive Market is an online membership-based market that aims to make health-based specialty food products 
more affordable and accessible for everyone. Basically, you do a guided shopping quiz, which will give you your own set of personalized recommendations and your own shopping list that is tailored to your unique diet goals and household needs. You can also filter by different diet goals like vegan or fair trade, and you can do all of your shopping for groceries, beauty, supplements, home goods, and more. Members will save on average about $32 per month, and Thrive ensures that they never engage in surge pricing no matter what. I also love that they pack everything in carbon neutral packaging that comes from zero waste warehouses, and shipping is free on orders over $49. They even have a new section on their website for BIPOC owned brands. And for every membership sold, Thrive will donate another membership to a low income family in need. They have one month and 12 month subscription options. So you can choose the option that best fits your lifestyle. I definitely recommend going with the 12 month membership because it comes down to just $5 a month. If you join today, you'll get 25% off of your first order plus a free gift. So check out the link in my description to sign up. All right, so let's get on packing. It's like Christmas. And honestly, when he saw this box this morning and he was desperate to get into it because to him, when he sees a box, he thinks it's a, it's a present. And he says, I'm so excited. So yeah, it was really hard for me to tell him to not open it. <laughs> Mommy needs this for work. All right. Gotta have some popcorn. I'm obsessed with popcorn. Everyone knows it. I, I could eat this whole bag just like myself as a snack. I don't love the clean snacks, sinful taste rhetoric on the bag, but I do love the flavor of these. I love the, the kind of butter flavored coconut oil and the Himalayan sea salt, just the combination. I mean, you know, any salt is good salt for me. I don't, doesn't need to be Himalayan, that's for sure. Does this have a bit of a health halo? Yes. Does, do I still think it tastes damn good? Definitely. So that, I'm excited about oats huge staple in my house e this morning because i didn't have any oatmeal yet he was like where's my oatmeal that's those are those are literally the first words that i heard when i got him from his crib where's my oatmeal so yeah that's how my morning started but we do love our oats here and these are sprouted quick oats kind of cool and we know sprouting does help to enhance the bio about bioavailability and the digestibility as well so that's great and these are thrive market branded seaweed snacks i'm gonna bring these to him he's out for a walk he's gonna love these these are his favorite you gotta have snacks especially for the kiddos freeze-dried fruit a huge staple in my house love it for throwing onto you know um yogurt or on top of your oatmeal but also just great as a handheld snack for the kiddos too so great option and these ones look really cool this is a, a thrive market um brand dragon fruit chips very cool you know what i gotta bust in these have four grams of fiber in the pack pretty good and four grams of protein I don't know, I've never had a dragon fruit chip before. So let me tell you, let's try this out. Ooh. Mm. Sweet. Sweet and tangy. Maple syrup in a convenient squeeze bottle. Thrive, so good. I'm Canadian, so we gotta have our, our maple syrup. Almond butter in a squeeze packy. And cashew butter in the squeeze packy. How fun. I go through so much nut butter and I like to switch it up each week if I do, you know, almond or um, cashew, pistachio, peanut. We're always switching it up, especially because I've started uh, solids with baby O and it's really important that we're introducing him to all of the different um, nuts and seeds to that. Make sure that we can, we rule out those kinds of allergies early. These, this sounds great. Just, it's just almonds. So there's no additional, um, you know, there's no sugar or salt added to these, which is exactly what I'm looking for when I'm serving a nut butter to a baby. So these look great. Speaking of nut butter, this is one of E's favorite snacks. He has not had this in a long time, um, but I was excited about them. These little peanut butter mini crackers. I mean, are they any healthier than the Ritz ones? I don't know, probably not, but I think they're really delicious. Um, and, uh, and there's three grams of protein in a pack, so I can feel good about that, that's for sure. Um, it's a little high in sodium, but they're delicious. So me and E, 
these are for us. Okay, so for cooking, of course, we need some like actual cooking stuff. Bonza pasta, if, I mean, you guys have heard me talk about it a million times. We've got the rigatoni and the cavatappi. Cavatappi? That's a word I've never used before. There's 22 grams of protein, eight grams of fiber. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. And also they're gluten-free. If you need a gluten-free option, I think that these are really great. So as a parent, I love them because I know that if my kiddo doesn't really feel enthusiastic about something else on the plate that is more protein-based, I at least know we're getting some good protein and fiber into him. And he's obsessed with this, loves it. I love, so he loves the little shapes and stuff. So, all right, uh, friends, what else? We've got some canned salmon, also so great. So this Wild Pacific Pink Salmon, skinless and boneless. I got the no salt added one. That's really what I was mainly looking for, um, just because we know how important that is uh, when the, with the little one, with O specifically. I wanna make sure that we're choosing an option that is lower in salt. Speaking of meals, I got some taco sauce because your girl can't make all the sauces from scratch anymore. It's just not happening, especially because I'm out of my element. I'm out of my home. I don't have all the spices in the world. We're gonna take some shortcuts. And I love this taco sauce. It's really delicious. I just add this to any kind of ground meat or a faux meat in a pan once I've chopped it all up. And voila, we's having taco night. Also, I saw this on Thrive Market and I was so excited, folks. Everything but the bagel seasoning. So this, you know, this is going on everything. And I'm gonna show you all the things that I'm gonna put this on, which is gonna be on that and that and that and that and that. I'm really, really excited. I like to get a variety of milks. As you can see, I'm like, I got a lot of milks going on here. So I got, I wanted to try this one. This is the um, Barista Blend Almond Milk by Khalifa. I haven't tried it yet. This is the macadamia nut, Lati Da. So this is also like a barista blend, macadamia nut. Ooh, shall we try? Shall we try? Shall we try? Which one in my coffee or remix? Two little coffees jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. You sing everything when you're a mom. So we got the almond milk barista blend on one side and in the other corner macadamia nut moo is moot i don't know guys i don't like strong coffee my hubby made this a little strong i don't think we knew what we were doing because we don't make drink co drip coffee so we're just like i guess this is how much to add okay this is macadamia good still strong what can i do about that other than add more almond also good i think i like the macadamia but I'm gonna drink both, cause this is the, this is the first coffee of the day. Puts you in a good singing mood. Oh, excited about this. Balsamic glaze. So here's what you're gonna do. This is my hack. This is my kid's favorite food. We call it avocado candy in our house. So when the avocados are ripe, you slice it up into little, like you leave it half, in the half shell, half, shell, whatever. And then you kind of score it and you drizzle balsamic glaze inside or you just put it into the hole basically. And we call it avocado candy. And let me tell you, it is my son's favorite food. He will eat a whole avocado. And my kid is, he's small. He, he eats like a bird most times, but you bust out an avocado and some balsamic glaze, he's gonna down it. He's gonna, he's gonna have a good, good meal. And that means a good, good meal sleep and that's what all that's all parents want what else can we ask for in life also non-negotiable extra virgin olive oil and this is thrive markets uh organic cold pressed from greece i also love love the cylinder i don't know it just feels feels sexy to me oh i also got traditional balsamic vinegar if you guys don't know balsamic vinegar is my my life it's my favorite like my favorite flavor is acid Mm -hmm. And I particularly like the dark variety of acid. I put it on everything. It's my favorite vinaigrette base. It's life. Also balsamic on fruit and strawberries in a little ice cream. It's gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. Had to get salsa. Didn't get chips. 
Mm. Well, it's just gonna have to go on eggs then until I get me some chips. I also want to try this, this ketchup out. This is Primal Kitchen's organic and unsweetened ketchup. What is it sweetened with? I didn't even look. I guess nothing, balsamic vinegar. So yeah, I mean, there's no artificial sweeteners in it, which is great. I'm gonna be trying this out on little baby O as a nice little dipper. We're all about dips in this house. If you're a parent, you know how important dips are. I also have a great recipe on my blog for a no sugar added ketchup, if you wanna try that as well. PB2, you guys know if you follow my blog, I've got a lot of recipes using PB2. Um, I love that it's basically a really great source of protein, a little bit of fiber in it too. So two tablespoons has six grams of protein. So throw it in your smoothies, throw it in your oatmeal, throw it into your yogurt. I think you guys saw that hack in one of my videos, um, but I particularly just really love the flavor. And when I'm baking for my kids, I often replace some of the flour for PB2 because not only does that provide the peanut allergen, which we know is important to be providing that often with our little ones to help to reduce the risk of allergies, but also is gonna be boosting up that protein as well. We don't need to skimp on the fat when it comes to nut butter. This is more for the texture that it brings and just the convenience of adding protein. The same way you would add protein powder to your smoothie. It's basically peanut protein powder. That is what it is. Now, this is something I've never bought before, but I saw it on the Thrive Market website and I was like kind of kind of excited about it. Mama Chia Chia Squeeze Vitality Snack. And I might give one to O because he is constipated. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring this over to get get O on one of these because he's a little backed up, as happens with little ones. Yeah, so easy. I don't love squeeze pouches into mouth. I prefer either onto a spoon or if baby is self-feeding, then I prefer to put it into a bowl and uh, preload a spoon so baby can self-feed. That just, that's just how I prefer to do it. And so yeah, this is gonna be great. Though of course, if you are traveling for ease and less mess, I hear ya. A squeeze pouch is, is a godsend as well. And then for spreads, you gotta have your peanut butter and jay. This looked really cool. It's called Fix and Fod Everything Butter, which has hemp, almond, peanut, papita, chia, sesame, sunflower, flaxseed. Basically, it's nut butter on steroids, and I love that as a nut butter freak especially because that's, you know, it's so important when we're introducing those allergens, like I mentioned, to keep all of those different allergen, allergenic nuts in the mix, in the rotation regularly. So this has a, a, a number of typical allergens. So, you know, the sesame, peanut, and the almond, plus it's got all those great seeds. It's got eight grams of protein, three grams of fiber in, uh, in two tablespoons, and nine grams of monounsaturated fat. So we've got lots of good healthy fat. And then this is Thrive Market's organic super fruit blend fruit spread. So this is like a jam. So we can do a PB and J with this. This one's got um, blueberry, strawberry, and apricot. And it's actually made with fruit, so there's no added sugar to it. So it's made with, it's sweetened with fruit juice um, instead of adding like a lot of uh, like cane sugar and things like that. Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas. Now we get into the other groceries, very important. First and foremost, coffee. Can't remember which one's which. Think that's the macadamia? Let's deal with this before it melts because I will be devastated. This is a staple. You guys know it's a staple. This is a must. I always buy this every single week and I go through it every single week. This is Ben & Jerry's Netflix and Chilled, folks. The best ice cream flavor that was ever created as far as I'm concerned. If you disagree with me, please let me know because if there is a better flavor than Netflix and Chilled, I need to know because this has peanut butter ice cream with sweet and salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownies in it. What else could you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you? What else could you want? The only thing that maybe I would add to this, and sometimes I do, like I doctor it up, actually I always doctor it up, is I add a little bit of dolce de leche on top and sometimes some scorbits as well if I'm feeling feisty. Other freezer staples that I need to probably deal with, chopped spinach, and we've got some frozen blueberries. 
So this morning after the, where's my oatmeal? E's second bossy little request was, where's my smoothie? And then he had a meltdown and a tantrum because I didn't make a smoothie yet. But that's because the groceries were coming and now I have them and these always go in the smoothie. It's usually like a ripe banana, um, chopped spinach, blueberries, yogurt or silken tofu, depending on how I'm feeling or what's up. I love the silken tofu texture. It's so, so good. Some kind of milk, glob of nut butter, flax or hemp hearts. I think that's usually it. Sometimes I throw an avocado in there if one's kind of going off, but yeah, so good. Okay, that is next coffee. I've also got some meat here. We don't need a ton of meat. Also, if I'm being honest, because this is not my house, I'm probably going to order in more than usual. So I've got a little bit of some chicken thighs and drumsticks for, especially for the kids. They love a good drumstick, baby led weaning style. It is the cutest to see a little child gnawing on a, like a bone. So we do bone in more fat and goodness for them. And then I've also got some beautiful salmon fillets that I'll probably roast up. Everyone loves salmon. Kids love salmon. It is a fantastic uh, protein to get those heart healthy omega threes fats. I'm not done with the non dairy stuff. So I also want to try almond milk creamer. Haven't tried this yet, but you know what? Throw her in there while we're having coffee. Why not have all the coffee? Ooh, she thick. That's thicker than most creamers, like non-dairy creamers I've tried. Damn, boy, he's thick. Mmm, almond and coconut cream, hazelnut flavor. Yes, that is what I'm smelling. So yeah, there's like two grams of sugar in this. It's added sugar, obviously, 15 calories in a tablespoon, but there's no hydrogenated oils. That tastes delish, and that's really all I care about. It tastes good. Also, A2 milk. So we drink a lot of milk in my house. I drink non-dairy milk in my lattes and coffee for whatever reason, but I drink whole milk, dairy milk, pretty much everywhere else. Adds that protein. I just like the richness. And of course, my son, E, exclusively drinks um, the, the, the whole milk because it's got more fat in it and more calories. And it's got, of course, the calcium and vitamin D that we want. This is, I actually, they're a client of mine, so I have, uh, I, I know quite a bit about it, but the A2 milk is what we usually go with because there is some evidence to suggest that folks that have digestive issues when they consume a usual cl glass of dairy milk may just think that they have lactose intolerance when in fact it may actually be the A1 beta casein protein found in most dairy products. So this milk just contains the A2 beta casein protein. So for some people, it may be better, better tolerated. If lactose is not an actual issue, if there's not an actual diagnosed lactose intolerance or milk allergy. So something to keep in mind, what am I doing? Mochis. So baby bells. We actually love baby bells. Like my son is obsessed with baby bells and I like to switch up the different flavors. So he sometimes says, I want a black one. I want a red one. I want a green one. Now raise your hand. If when you were a kid, you used to try to eat the wax on a baby bell. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie. My husband tells me he used to make wax lips out of it. Yeah, and uh, I never went that far, but I definitely was wax curious at a point in my life. So the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Let's just say that. He has he has eaten his fair share of wax too. Okay, next we've got some cream cheese. This is the whipped cream cheese variety. I'm, I'm a Jewish mom. We gotta have our Luxon bagels. I didn't get bagels. <gasps> Jewish mom fail. This is what they call Jewish guilt. I didn't get bagels and I'm gonna get in trouble for it. But I got the cream cheese and I got the everything bagel spice and I got some bread so maybe we can hack a bagel? We'll try. But anyways, I got the whipped variety which I recently got into. I think it is actually lower in calories than regular only because it's like got some air whipped into it. Fage? Fage? I don't know. Leave me a comment below. I wanna know. I pronounce a lot of things wrong and I Try not to feel bad about it. Try not to let this keep me up at night. But anyways, I always go with the higher fat options when I can, a plain Greek yogurt. Um, so this one's got, we've got 18 grams of protein. So I love that. And, and the, the fuller fat to me is so much more satiating. The mouthfeel is better. If you don't love Greek yogurt because you find it kind of astringent and too tangy for you, too bitter, 
this is a much better option. I think the higher fat, it smooths that all out. Opa! Opa! Tzatziki. My kid is obsessed with tzatziki. I don't know when that started, uh, but he quite likes it. Dips are king when you've got kids because dips allow your children to you know, explore foods that maybe are unfamiliar to them or maybe are foods that they are learning to like because if the dip is liked, uh, that's the gateway to get that that new food, that vegetable or fruit or, or meat or whatever it is into their mouth. So if he loves a good tzatziki, we're gonna put tzatziki on everything. So I put that on everything. That is how we roll. And I mean, it's made, made out of Greek yogurt. This is actually really great. I'm gonna pull a Rachel Ray here. You know how Rachel Ray, like, she like, does this it's like part of her thing where she has to carry as much as she possibly can and not all right pantry pantry goodies we got puffins cereal i love puffins i don't know it's like the crunch the texture it's it holds up in the milk and i also put a lot of it on yogurt it's the great handheld snack too my son loves them so yeah they're pretty good six grams of added sugar six grams of fiber and three grams of protein per cup so yeah, I do, I do enjoy me a good puffin. Cheerios, I've been working with General Mills for so long and so I'm a big fan of Cheerios. The yellow box is just one gram of sugar per serving. And my son is getting to the point where he's working on his pincer grasp, what we call pincer grasp. So that allows him to pick up tiny little things with his, with his finger and his thumb rather than just like grab things like, like, a, like a palmer, palmer grass is what we call it. All right, we talked about ketchup, had to get the OG. And his buddy, Frenchie, Frenchie Mustard, very important. So these guys, mm -mm -mm, match made in heaven, and we can't go a meal without drowning it in mustard and ketchup. Uh, yeah, that's toddler life. It's always like more ketchup, more mustard. And then what ends up happening is that the meal becomes a pool of ketchup mustard with like a side of tofu or a carrot. But whatever, if it makes it more enjoyable for him, if it makes it safer for, safer for him, I'm all about condiments. Even condiments that have sugar, like ketchup, I'm okay with it. So just something to keep in mind, moms, don't feel bad about that. The garbanzo beans, I had to get some um, chickpeas, a really great option for just a fast, easy salad topper to add some protein. And I also, I might make some hummus if I feel up to it. If I find that there's a, a blender here, which I hope there is, cause I gotta make a smoothie before I have another tantrum issue tomorrow. You gotta get bread. And I love, we love sourdough in my, ha in my house. So sourdough is my go-to. And I prefer bread to bagels. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to say it the appropriate way. Bagels. Bagels, that's right, right? Uh, they're called bagels. Bagels, that feels off. I don't even know how it's supposed to sound anymore. Uh, I'm losing my mind. So please don't bug me about it anymore, okay? I know I, I, know I say it wrong. I don't need to go to speech language, language uh, therapy. I do, however, need coffee. So I really didn't know what a good coffee was when I was looking on my like Instant Cart um, app. But I ended up, just because of what was familiar to me, I got the Starbucks. So I got a decaf option for my afternoon delight and um, Pike Place Medium Roast as your basic morning brew, which is what I'm drinking right now with a variety of non-dairy milks and creamers. We talked about bonza. I love the bonza rice too. My kids love rice and this has five grams of fiber, 11 grams of protein in a serving. So it's a fantastic option. And we also needed something sweet, milk chocolate raisinets. I don't even go with the dark things because I don't like dark chocolate. So I don't, I, I don't even try to make a, 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 a treat food or a fun food more healthy by, you know, dragging myself through an option that I don't actually really love. If you don't love dark chocolate and you're just choosing dark chocolate because you think it's healthier for you, don't, because it's not gonna be very satisfying to you. You're gonna go on a flavor hunt. So basically you have a, a handful of the dark chocolate raisins and that's not what you want. So then you go into the pantry and you plow through a whole family size bag of potato chips, but that's not what you want. So then you eat all of that Ben and Jerry's ice cream, but that's not actually what you want. So then you end up like Ubering yourself a, a, a packet of milk chocolate because that's actually your style. And then you end up with like a $5 delivery charge 
on a $2 item. It's happened. It has happened before. And it's probably happened to you. Okay, we're getting to the end here. Also the end of coffee, switching it up. You guys know I'm obsessed with sparkling water. There's not a sparkling water I have met that I, that I don't like. But I really like the Spindrift. Yum, yum, yum. And um, I just find they're so flavorful. So, cause they've got a little bit of real juice in them. So if I'm feeling like I want just a little bit more flavor than my typical La Croix or La Croix or whatever the hell, however you say it, I'm going with one of these. Bananas. I got a lot of bananas. As you can see, we go through a lot of bananas. And when I order bananas, I order, or I put in the app, uh, like a request. And I say, give me one bunch that's pretty ripe and one bunch that's green. Once I get through this bunch, this bunch is ready to go. This one's at the helm being like, all right, all right, all right, all right, eat me now. Avocados. We eat a lot of avocados. I talked about avocado candy. Beep. We also just love them. And for I see your lips moving, but I can't make out your words. And that, my friends, is because my audio cut out. Oh. Technology, not always my best friend. But anyways, I'm going to walk you through the rest of my haul here because the show must go on, right? Gotta have some avocado because hashtag avocado toast. Also love little cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes for snacking. Bell peppers are fantastic because, you know, they're a low FODMAP option that I totally had grow on me during my low FODMAP elimination phase. And then we've also got some baby cucumber for snacking. We've got some sweet little tiny apples, which are really great for my toddler because I always find like all these half eaten apples all over the house. So this way, of course, we're wasting less with a smaller little apple for him. Mandarins are fantastic for snacks. Also baby carrots. I love them raw. I love them cooked. The kids have them cooked. I obviously eat way too many of them, hence the orange palms, but it's all good. Nothing dangerous. It's just a genetic thing. And I've got some blueberries. I've got strawberries. We always have lots of fruit in the house. Green beans are a definite favorite of everyone. I love them just plain steamed. The kids are obsessed with them. Little baby O, like he could gnaw on a green bean all day, every day. And then finally we've got some romaine because sometimes I just don't feel like kale or spinach and I just want a crunchy water rich salad and some eggs, which are a total staple in my books. And that, my friends, is all that I have for you today. Thanks again to Thrive for sponsoring this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below on what kind of vlog content you wanna see me do next. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.